Let's finally do the no mirror makeup challenge and it is probably the number one comment I get on all of my videos. I am honestly not gonna lie, I am a little bit scared. Just to prove you that I have absolutely no mirrors in front of me, here is the setup. I'm gonna have you right there and uh, as you can see my regular setup is right behind me. Alright, first we're gonna go in with primer, which should be the easiest part of this uh, whole situation. Some of my camera work is not the most perfect thing, it's because I cannot see you guys. Like The only thing I see is obviously the back of my phone case. Next we're gonna go in with my foundation. This feels so weird, I like don't even know where to look. Okay, I think the foundation is on. Now, moving on to some concealer. I don't wanna like stab my eye out. So far, I feel like I'm nailing this. The one part that I'm not excited about is definitely the brows. For my contour stick, we're using the Rare Beauty one because it blends out pretty well. I feel like I'm literally putting this thing in my hair. Oh my God, should I dare and contour my nose as well? I like don't know where my cheeks are. Okay, how are we looking? I I hope that's blended. Now for my cream blush, I'm gonna go in with this freaking beautiful one from One Size Beauty. I actually haven't seen what this cream looks like, so it could be like really pigmented, and uh, I wouldn't even have any idea. I probably should have picked a blush that I know is not like too pigmented, or I know how much of it I need to use, but that clearly didn't happen. Now we're gonna go in with some setting powder. It feels pretty good so far, but I don't know if it wasn't good. Would I feel that it's not good? Do you know what I mean? Next, we're gonna add a little bit more of this Kosas bronzer because I'm feeling bold. And obviously we're gonna go back in to the one size powder blush and add that on top. I have been literally obsessed with this blush. I'm also gonna add a little bit of this shimmer too on top. Next, we're gonna apply a little bit of this Pillow Talk highlighter. I left my highlighting brush over on the table behind me and I can't go grab it because then I feel like I'm gonna look in the mirror. So we're gonna use this uh, eyeshadow brush and hope that there wasn't any residue eyeshadow left on it. Now the brows is where it's about to get real interesting. I'll see you in the next part. Welcome to part two of me switching every step in my makeup routine. It's not looking good so far. Next, we're switching blush and highlighter. For my blush, we're gonna use some highlighter. I picked this one from Charlotte Tilbury because it has at least a little bit of um, pink in it. Wow, this is so freaking bad. And for my highlighter, we're gonna use some blush. And this one's from Ciate London and it's like pretty glowy. So I feel like it should work. Not that anything can save this look at this point. Now, for my brows, we're gonna use eyeshadow, which is honestly not that bad. Like, it could have been worse. I feel like my brows are two different colors, but moving on. As you probably have guessed, for my eyeshadow, we're using eyebrow products. Okay, this hurts. Let's see if we could blend this out. Hmm, a whole lot of nothing. I found this brow powder, so let's hope that this works better uh no no it doesn't i look like someone punched me in the eye mascara and lip liner are the next two steps and you know what that means we're gonna use lip liner as my mascara first i don't think that's gonna do anything at all so i think we're just gonna have to skip mascara but now we have to use mascara as my lip liner I chose this one in shade Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury in hopes that this is like the closest color to like a lip liner color. I mean, it honestly could be worse. We started off great, but I don't, I don't know what happened here. I feel like I'm just making it worse, so we're gonna stop right there. And then we're gonna use lip gloss as lipstick, which shouldn't be that hard. And then we're gonna use lipstick as lip gloss. I'm using like a MAC lip palette for this because I don't wanna dirty any of my lipsticks with like a lip gloss. Wow, this looks like a five-year-old did my makeup. Let's finish off with full face of Rem Beauty. For my brows, I already went ahead and used the Rem Beauty Brow Gel, which is has like this uh, quite weird applicator, but it, it works. And for my brow pencil, I picked up this one, and the only thing I have to say about this is that I hate brow pencils that you have to, like, sharpen. They always, like, end up being way too thick. 
The formula is pretty good, but by the time I was already finishing up the brow, it wasn't sharpened already. And for my eyeshadow, we're gonna go in with this one in shade Baby Doll. For the shimmer, we have two different choices, but I forgot to keep the lid off of this one, so it's pretty much dry. Which is quite sad, because this color was actually pretty. But I did pick up this liquid shadow in shade Famebot, and I've seen everyone on TikTok talking about this. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it in the middle. Ooh. Okay, that is pretty okay you know what i was actually able to place this like gold one into my inner corner and oh my god this eye look is so pretty curling my eyelashes and using the ram beauty mascara the mascara seems to have like a pretty dry formula which i personally like okay even though i said i like the formula i don't really like the mascara it's not doing that much for my eyelashes for my lip liner we're gonna go in with this one in shade ad libs and for my lipstick we're gonna use shade bubbly and for my lip gloss, we're going to go in with this one in shade Jelly Sandals because I feel like it's going to match like the eyes. And let me just tell you, this applicator literally irks me. I hate it. Okay, I feel like this gloss matches this look perfectly. Welcome to part two of me doing a full face of makeup without using a mirror. I hope this far it's going good, but I know for a fact it's about to get real bad. Where am I? Oh my god, I don't even know where my eyebrows are. Oh no. Oh no! I like feel- no. That- I felt that was fucked. I'm not even gonna try to line my eyebrows because- or should I? Hmm. Does that look bad? It feels bad. I feel like it looks bad as well. Well, I actually don't have a brush to line my eyebrows, so thank god for that. Uh, for my eyeshadow primer, we're gonna go in with the Rare Beauty one. And I'm just gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. For my eyeshadow, I decided to pick out a pretty neutral one. I'm just gonna try to do like a, I don't know, just like a regular eyeshadow look. Oh, by the way, there is a mirror in this palette, but it's covered, so don't worry about it. I just realized all these compacts had mirrors in them. I didn't look, I swear. So I'm thinking of doing a liner. Am I scared? Absolutely, fucking Lily, but am I still gonna do it? Um, yes. I think we're gonna do like a very small brown liner. Oh, this is bad. Let's see. This is my eye. I go like that. Like this. Oh, God. Okay, so this is my eye. We go out and then. Fuck, I don't know. Like we were doing good up until this point because this, none of what I just did feels right. If we add some glitter, I heard glitter fixes everything. Uh, are, are the eyes complete? You tell me. Moving on to some mascara. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't poke my eye out with this. Okay, should I attempt to do my lower lash line? I don't even know how I'm doing this right now. I'm kind of proud of myself, honestly. The fact that I haven't poked my eye once yet just says a lot. Oh shit, oh shit. Doing this eye is way harder than doing the other one. We're gonna put this pencil into my waterline. I don't know why. Oh no, 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 we're not, no, no. Ow! I should be able to do my lip liner pretty well because, I mean, how hard can it be? Okay, that feels good. Wait, I feel confident. I'm gonna go in with lipstick. And to cover up any imperfections, we're gonna go in with some lip gloss. Okay. So here we have the final look. I'm gonna let you have the first look before I look in the mirror. All right, let's look. Okay, I set up my camera. I haven't looked yet and uh, I'm honestly a little bit scared. I'm Wait, shut the fuck up. Wait, I even lined my lips good. Full face of essence. This will be my third time doing this video, but one, you guys keep asking me for it, and two, Essence keep launching so many new products. So let's get into it. For the primer, we're going to go in with this Skin Loving Sensitive Primer, and also a little bit of this Deep Puff Eye Serum. For the foundation, we have a brand new one, which is their Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. The shade match? I'm not sure. Oh, that's so yellow. I swear, when I was trying to shade match it at the store, the shade before this was like way, way, way too light. And you can't swatch them either. But you know what? To help this color, I'm going to add a little bit of the Pretty Natural foundation. Good thing I'm wearing this top because um, the match is, isn't matching. 
Now for the concealer, we also have this brand new one, Keep Me Covered Concealer. For some reason, the shades I got are way too yellow. I don't even know what I was thinking. Okay, so far, this concealer looks absolutely stunning. If we ignore the color, my complexion looks really good. They don't have a cream bronzer, but they did come out with this brand new cream blush. And mine is in the shade Peaches. It smells like freaking watermelon. That is so weird. And it's so freaking pretty. For my setting powder, first we're going to use the Essence My Skin Perfector. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use this um, powder foundation. I honestly don't understand how Essence creates such amazing products for so freaking cheap. All right, we still have so many more products to go, so I'll see you in part two of the rest. Can you do a full face of Rem Beauty? I pretty much uh, have every single product that she ever came out with, so let's get into it. It was pretty well it lasted. First, we're going to start off with the Under Eye Blurring Balm. And if you put it in a fridge, it feels even better. And for the primer, we're also going to use a blurring primer. Personally, I'm not a big fan of blurring primers just because I like something that's like extra hydrating. And it doesn't feel like too silicone-y, which is a plus for me. Before we even get into makeup, I want to try these like stain markers. It's like literally a pen and it's supposed to be like a stain for your lips. I don't really know how I feel about it because I can't like, get an even layer of it on my lips. But it stained them a little bit, I think. And I'm going to apply this lip oil on top. These are literally one of my favorite lip oils. And I love this applicator. Rem Beauty doesn't have foundation yet, so I applied my own. And next, we're going to go in with some concealer. And uh, mine is in shade 6N. We don't have a cream bronzer, but she does have this like lip and cheek um, thing. I'm going to try it on my lips first. That actually doesn't look too bad. Oh. That is quite light for my cheeks, though. It's very, very subtle, and I can't tell if it's because the color is too light or it's just, like, not that pigmented. And for the highlighter, we also have, obviously, Rem Beauty in shade Miss Mercury. This shade is so freaking pretty. Oh my god, I forgot how blinding that is. Alright, we're about halfway done. So far, it's looking so good, but I'll see you in part of the rest. 